Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, this is all about making sure that you know the best way of making sure that you can file your account from QuickBox Online. Now, unfortunately, QuickBox Online doesn't have a button to just press file, but if you've got a set of limited company accounts that you need to get over to Companies House and HMRC, don't forget you need to do both, then this video is up for you. So let's grab yourself a cup of tea, get yourself sat down, and let's talk about exactly how we get QuickBooks to get the information to company sales to keep you comply. Hello, my name is Aaron Patrick. I am a chartered accountant, a certified UK trainer with fancy new logo, that QuickBooks chap on the internet, also head of accounts here at Boffix. And if after this video you feel like that this is far too complicated for you, then don't forget to give Boffix a call. We're a chartered set of accountants. We can make sure that we file your company accounts and corporation tax return at a very competitive rate. So let us know below if we can help you at all. Now, today's video though is all about making sure that you know how to get your information from QuickBooks to Companies House. Before we go any further, let's make sure everyone's understanding exactly what your requirements are. As a company, you're currently on Companies House. And when you do a search for your company, you're gonna see quite a lot of information. When it was incorporated, when the last accounts were done, if you've not done your first set of accounts, and more importantly, when they're due. Now, being due a set of accounts to Companies House is only half the story. You'll also have to make sure that your company tax return, known as your CT600, has also been filed HMRC. So that date is super important. And we need the information from QuickBooks in order to get the information in there. How do we do that? We well, are going to need two pieces of information. The first one is your authentication code for Companies House. You're going to have that from Companies House and it's going to be a physical piece of post that you're going to receive. And make sure that authentication code is working as intended. And that will take you to this page here. Now, this page here is all about making sure that you can get access to here. You'll notice how it's giving you the option to file your confirmation statement, which is not what we're doing today, but it does also give the option to file company accounts. And when you file company accounts, you can also do full accounts with Company South and HMRC. These joint accounts are suitable for small audit exempt for company. And you'll notice that as soon as you click on there, it's going to ask you to go to HMRC to, to do the joint filing service. And I highly recommend you use this step and you go through this route because ultimately you don't just have to file to Company South, but you also have to file to HMRC. So from here, it will say file your company in returns. And this is saying it's going to file your CT600 with HMRC and also your accounts with Company's House. So for us, this is by far the best way of doing it. From here, you can use the start now button, and then it's going to ask you to put your government gateway in here. The next piece of information you need to get access to this is you're going to need to put in an access code. And you'll see straight away here, if you're not registered for corporation tax, then you need to register for corporation tax straight away. So I press the registration for corporation tax. Now, if you haven't created yourself a government gateway account, then you need to get your, make sure that government gateway account is all set up. And you can create it just by using this create signing details just here. So I'm gonna go forward and get myself into my account. And you'll notice that I've already started the process of, by activating my corporation tax. This means I've got a letter come just here. Now for you to get this activated in the first place, just go to this page here and you'll notice it says get online to access a tax. From here, you can choose which scheme. Yours will be corporation tax. I've already done mine. Then I'm going to ask you some information to get yourself over there. Once you've got that bit done, though, you'll get a letter in the post. From that letter, you're going to be given an activation code just like this one. This activation code means that we can go into your file, put in the code that's been provided, and now finally it says you now have access to corporation tax. From here you'll see, you can see completing your tax return, which is gonna go back to the same page we've just been. View corporation tax statements put in there and just generally give you an update of how you're doing in terms of corporation tax for your company. Now, let me refresh this page and file your account. So let's go and put that information in one more time. Activation code in yet again. 
and it says before you start so we need to make sure we've got all of this information ready so you need to go through and make sure all of the information is there once you're happy press continue what type of organization are you filing for well you're going to be doing a company amend the previous company tax return no we don't want to amend anything from previous we just want to get this filed have your company's been audited well most of yours will be no but do make sure and what type of company and the majority of them will be private limited company tell us more about the type of company you are filing for is a company one of the following listed there so you just need to go through these information and answer properly is it part of a group so do you have multiple companies in your group is your company registered in the UK yes or no and is the company in liquidation or receivership tell us if you need to report any of these in your accounts foreign currency transactions that could be a tricky one that could put most people out adjustment of something you report in the previous year financial management and cost of restructuring income or expenditure from shares you cannot use a service to report the following share based payments or any share premium do you need to report income and expenditure from investment assets say yes or no to that one do you need to report contingent assets yes or no to that one and tell us more about details about the company so do you need to report anything listed on this page going through all of this information there yes or no to them ones and answer accordingly do you need to claim capital allowances and choose your filing type do you want to go to company's house, HMRC, or company's house only? So, at this point then, this is why using this service is so useful. Because you can file to company's house only, or to com your company tax return to HMRC. We're going to do company's house and HMRC at this point, and press continue. Then we need to enter your company's house details. So, where is it from? Company registration number. And crucially, as I said before, your authentication code as well. This will make sure you confirm your company. So let's press continue. Company sales records show you need to file the accounts for this period. Are these dates you want to file for? Yes or no? Confirm the corporation tax filing date. So make sure that you've got the dates correct. And was the company dormant for any of this period? Do you want to claim structural business allowance? Yes or no? About this company, was the turnover below this figure? Was the balance sheet below that figure? And did your company have an average of 10 of your employees during this period? And then it's going to come back with basically you are eligible for this service. What type of accounts are you prepared? Micro entity, abridged or full. Now, because we're going to be doing stuff that's sent to companies house and HMRC, then you can get away with just micro entity accounts. But that's not what this video is going to show you. You've created your accounts based on QuickBooks. Therefore, you have all the information you need to do in a bridge set of accounts. That's also going to make it easier for your HMRC filing as well. You are ready to start filing. So that's the good thing. That's the first step, all done and dusted. That's going to give you confidence then that you're ready to get this done. And you're going to be making up company accounts, computations and a company tax return. Let's continue and start our process. Okay, so did you have any turnover from inside or off payroll? You need to say yes or no to that one. Director report. Who is the director that's actually going to be doing this one? Always make sure you use the add button and get the person actually up here in this top area. So continue. Answer questions about the directors themselves. Put in some principal activities and make sure any of this other information is done as well. If your company, if you choose to file your accounts to report to company's house, it will be publicly available. Yes, file my direct report to company's house. And at this point then, we are good to go. You can edit anything before you're ready and make sure you're happy with it. Tick the box and save and continue. Now, finally, we're at a position where we're gonna need, <coughs> we need QuickBooks. So all the way up to here, remember, we've not jumped into QuickBooks at all. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and show both screens at the same time. Make this as neat as I possibly can, just by doing it like there because effectively what you're using QuickBooks for is it's going to have all the information there ready to go in now before you get to this point you do need to be making sure now before you get to this point you do need to make sure that you've done all your checks and you've made sure that QuickBooks is as set up as it should be so make sure that you use some of the videos I've already done to check to make sure you're happy that these are the final figures ready to submit to HMRC and company's house 
failing to do so means you're gonna put some errors into your account and we don't want that at all. But as you can see here, first of all, it's asking for profit and loss. So the way for us to get that is to go to our report section. From the report section, we're gonna click on profit and loss. And what we're gonna do then is make sure we're choosing the right financial year. Make sure these dates arrive and then run report. And from here, the first thing it says is gross profit or loss. So there's my gross profit just sat here. And I always use the profit and loss comparison for this one. So it's asking me for my gross profits. So I put those figures in. Then it needs to know my distribution costs. In this case, there wasn't any. But it also needs to know my administration costs as well. And in this case, it's this figure down here, total expenses. Then we need to make sure that these agree with these figures just there. And we can move down to any interest that we've had and any tax on profit that we want to include. At that point, then we need to do a final check to make sure that we're happy that we've come back down to the right figure. Any of these interest receivables payable or anything, you may need to make sure that you've put into the right area in QuickBooks. Again, use my videos to make sure that you've got everything set up. But ultimately, you'll be extracting data directly from here. Save and continue. Make sure that they don't have any decimal places. Otherwise, you get told off. At that point, yeah, you're ready. And that will generate your accounts for you. You have the option to add some notes if you need to. Next one is we need to get your balance sheet ready. So back to your report section, find your balance sheet. And again, balance sheet com comparison will probably make your life easier. And we'll report. Making sure that you ensure that you've got the right date range just there. And that the comparison is shown. At that point, it's about making sure the information is put in there. So it's all split in in the information for you. In my case, I don't have any assets at all, so I can leave them ones. Got no stock to push. Oh, I've got a stock figure just here actually, four hundred pounds and a thousand pounds. Debtors wise, I had nothing to include in them ones, but I do have to think about my cash at bank in hand. Now, I've got to be careful here because I've been using QuickBooks for my direct loan account. I don't want that shown there. So I'm only going to put in my actual cash at bank in hand. Once you have put all the information in, you just need to make sure that your net current assets and liabilities are correct to what's shown on balance sheet comparison report. And then we just need to make sure that we've got everything right here. So down the bottom here, it's giving you capital and reserves for you. Profit and loss account is your retained earnings plus your profit and loss. So you might need to get calculate out and get that one sorted. And the idea is that both of these will agree. Now, in my case, I've got a penny difference, uh, a pound difference. So I do need to just kind of push it a little bit over here, just so I've got the two being exactly the same. Save and continue. I then need to put my confirmation in, save and continue. From here then, I can go through and I can take copies of that if I need to. Let's make this nice and big now so that we can actually start seeing all of the figures here. And then I can do save and continue. And see on the left hand side then, I've just completed my company accounts. Um, what I need to do now though is consider if there's any of these notes I need to put in. Should I be putting dividend notes in, loans directors notes, all those sort of items. But there are mandatory ones I've got to complete. Tangible policy. Um, I need to think about bringing in as well. Um, employee note, how many employees were there in that particular period? You need to complete that one. And any off balance sheet disclosures, yes or no. What's the matter with that? I can press save and continue. And you'll see my account summary has all been completed now, ready for me to save and continue. From here, it's going to say you what you are filing. So it's going to tell you the information there. So I can save and continue, get ready to go. And at this point, I can print off a draft copy of my accounts and I can go through and make sure that I'm happy with everything that's there. I can see who's approved it, what the approval statement was, and what the date of the approval was going to be. So we continue. And that basically brings me to my company accounts being ticked. Now the rest of all these now are all about putting my computation together for my CT600. If you want me to continue doing this video, please make sure you put like and subscribe in there for me to go through that in more detail. But for now, everything we've needed from Company Taos is already there. The rest of it is all about making sure that the information we've provided is going to be correct in the CT600. So it's going to be asking you for any COVID support, any detailed profit and loss, any capital allowances. The detailed profit loss itself, you're going to get the information from QuickBooks. But apart from that, everything's already there. This 
now is all up and running ready for you to go through ticking the boxes making sure that you've got everything in, in line and then at the very end you'll be able to submit absolutely everything you'll see at the bottom that you have the option to company tax return to be submitted and company tax submit as well once you've gone through all of them everything will be perfect now again is this something that's been really really complicated for you and you're a little bit overwhelmed by this make sure you head over to boffix itself that way we can make sure that we can look at it. We're even doing a service at the moment where we're doing an MOT. Well, in this MOT option that we've got just here, what we do is we get access to your accounts. We go through, fill in a form to make sure that everything's as clean as possible for you. And as a bonus as well, we're starting to provide you a set of statutory accounts. Now, the idea of these statutory accounts is if I show you what they look like here, we will generate your accounts looking like this, which means that you have the profit and loss account exactly broken down to how you're going to need it. And the balance sheet will split for you into the, what you're going to need it as well. So that then notes, financial statements, and lead schedules are all set up for you. So you can copy and paste that information. If you're interested in the MOT where we look at your accounts in more detail, make sure it's ready to file, then head over to here. And then that will give you the confidence that when you do go through the process that we've just shown, you're going to be in making sure the right figures are put in at the right place. Okay, let us know below if you wanted to go into more detail about the rest of the process of getting that company tax return filed. But for now, I think you've got everything you need to be able to see how to make sure that you're at least up to this stage to get that final accounts done. Make sure you're filing to both companies, house and to HMRC. That's going to be critical for you. As long as you've got that in, you're going to be absolutely fine. Again, if you need any assistance with that, head over to Boffix. That's where we're here to help. And don't forget as well, we're also there to do a quick MOT to make sure that your company data is as clean and tidy as possible. My name's been Alan Patrick. Hopefully this video has been useful for you. Let us know below if there's anything else you need from it. And with that, you should see that that's how you can get your company accounts submitted via QuickBooks Online. My name's been Alan Patrick. As always, it's been an absolute pleasure to do this video for you. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and all of that stuff. The more people that we get to know about this, the better it's going to be for everyone. So make sure you use that like, subscribe button, and then we'll make sure that you have everything that you need to get everything in QuickBooks Online. My name's been Alan Patrick. As I've said, it's been a pleasure, and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.